Oh no, I'm being abducted by aliens! What's going on guys, Pixelated here, back at it again with another review. Today we are looking at possibly one of the best Ultra Boost mids to release this year. Actually, I'm just going to start off and say that for me, these are the best Ultra Boost mids to come out this year. Probably the main reason I bought them, but we'll get into that a little later. They are the Adidas X Kith X Nonative Ultra Boost mid, by far my favorite variation of the Ultra Boost model in itself. The Kith X Nonative Ultra Boost is a rare breed. It didn't release anywhere other than Kith and their website, as well as Nonative store and probably online. I didn't follow their release as they're in Japan and well I'm not they released on Black Friday November 24th this year and fittingly so since it's pretty much an all black colorway with few hits of contrasting black and white patchwork design on the upper it released with a collection and a second pair of shoes known as the twin strike now I pronounced nonative the way you're hearing me say it right now which is nonative Many people have pronounced it non-native. I'm almost 100% certain these people don't know what they're talking about and I'm right on this one, but I'm open to suggestions. So comment below and let me know which way you think it is. Now, before getting started, feel free to hit that like button or subscribe at any point in the video if you enjoy it. As a YouTuber, his channel is still growing. It helps me out a lot and encourages me to bring more quality content to you guys. Now let's get to it. I have sort of a love-hate relationship with this model because of the way it's shaped. It kind of looks like a potato when it's off your foot and it definitely irks me quite a bit to the point where I have asked myself repeatedly why does Adidas make this model in general and by this model I mean the Ultra Boost Mid not this colorway specifically but then I put mine on foot and quickly remember why because they're just so damn good. Good to look at, feel good on foot, the comfort is there, they're lightweight, there really isn't much to hate about this shoe and there's plenty to love about it. I mean aside from when you're late for an appointment and have to spend a good three to four minutes putting it on by that time you have missed your important doctor's appointment didn't get treated properly and therefore ended up getting sick of a severe infection you could have avoided had you made it to the doctor in time and got diagnosed properly that's probably the only downside though anyways on to how i got the shoe the story really isn't too long i think they released at midnight on november 24th which was the big day the big black day to be specific that came out wrong it was black friday is what i was trying to say so it was probably a smart decision for them to release at midnight since most money saving hustlers were out in the streets the morning of instead of at their computers waiting to cop the stock on these seemed pretty decent because as soon as they dropped i tried to cart and check out as fast as possible but initially i accidentally added a size six and a half to my cart which is nowhere close to my size i didn't know how i got that size don't even ask me so then i had to go to my cart remove it add a size 10 and then check out so the fact that i was able to do that and still get my pair tells me that there was decent stock although the popular sizes sold out almost immediately after and the smaller sizes sold out a minute or two later thankfully i got my pair and was able to sleep well the rest of the night when it comes to sizing these fit just like any other ultra boost mids truth be told i haven't tried any other ultra boost mids other than the original kith ultra boost mid from the aspen collection but from what i heard most fit similar i went true to size in these and went true to size in the original kith ultra boost mid and they both fit great i am a wide footer so take that how you will my boat shaped feet fit great in these the only reason i think you would have to go half a size up is if you have wider feet than me and you'd have to have pretty damn wide feet for do, to do that onto the materials most of the upper is a one piece prime knit upper and we have a handful of materials overlaying it one thing you need to know about Kith and owner Ronnie Feig is that whenever it comes to a collaboration like this, he almost always works closely with the brand to come up with or utilize a unique material on the shoes being worked on. In this case, the upper is primarily made of a uniquely knitted heavy gauge wool blend prime knit that came out of their previous Aspen Ultra Boost collaboration and is unlike the regular wool less prime knit used on other Ultra Boost mids, taking inspiration from the other half of the collaboration, which is the Japanese brand Nonative. The brands utilized a Japanese clothing innovation and so the upper is also layered with an asymmetric patchwork design that is stitched on in 3m this is probably my favorite part of the shoe every time i look down i see these shapes and patterns that make no sense to me and it's awesome i love being confused kidding but it honestly looks really great it low-key does bother me that this release went under the radar for a lot of people especially those that like to buy or collect the most hype or significant sneaker collabs this one really didn't get the hype that it deserves and it's weird to say that knowing that the hype for a lot of things is at an all-time high i know that might sound a little contradictory considering that adidas just released the largest amount of Yeezys ever and they aren't reselling for anywhere near the price of previous Yeezys but that really just depends on stock numbers and they still sold out so what does that tell you? It really does put a lot of other Ultra Boost collabs to shame in my eyes because it really seems like they tossed a few simple but great ideas at an Ultra Boost to make something truly unique and I'm thinking, why can't other companies do the same? Instead of just changing a few colors here and there and sometimes incorporating really small design elements like a leather heel counter patch on the Ultra Boost, for example, 
Now we see the familiar ATR taping in all black on the toe cap or mudguard portion of the shoe that lines out to the medial and lateral portions of the shoe. The same ATR taping creates the three stripes and lines the lace eye stays and eyelets to prevent them from wear or damage. The laces are thin black rope laces with speckled 3M design on them and silver metal lace tips. The shoe also came with extra laces, they're flat black laces with silver tips. Typically I'm a sucker for extra laces but these are just whatever I like when extra laces are a little more flashy or unique than the regular laces. But here there's really nothing to write home about. I'm not mad at all though and shout out to them for including an extra set of laces. I know plenty of people who like all black everything versus patterns so this would be perfect for them. Now the shoes came with a card that lets you know that the shoes were made of a special knitting process that creates a one of a kind upper for every pair ensuring nobody else has one just like these. Upon comparison with my friends pairs I was disappointed to find out that all the patterns were the same and it's a little upsetting to see that just because it's cool if you told me that in person but now we have this on a card a special card that came with the shoes pretty much adidas just told us a bold face lie to our faces and we have it in text we have it in proof on a special card that came with the shoes so it seems a little counterintuitive but i like the pattern so it's not too big of a deal it's just a little disappointing to know that we were lied to straight to our faces but moving on we have an all black heel cap then we have all black ankle cuffs that are made of regular and not the wool blend prime knit along with the small tongue section as well we have all black tongue tabs with rf printed on the right tab and nonative's logo printed on the left we have these fabric insoles with kith and nonative branding printed on them we have all black heel pulls with the three stripes running across them in reflective 3m material the boost midsole is painted all black and my second favorite part of the shoe is the inclusion of this atr outsole i didn't think much of the atr midsole at first i thought it was a great addition to the shoe since you're going to need it for winter and the different conditions you'll have to face during that time but it's actually become a main focus of the shoe for me because it does stick out from the rest of the shoe from the top down view when you're wearing them and it just makes them look much more aggressive and pleasing to the eye of course people are going to compare this ultra boost mid to kith's previous ultra boost mid collab from the aspen collection and i'm going to do exactly the same truthfully i'm really happy that kith x nonative released an all black mid ultra boost that looks amazing because now i can keep my kith aspen ultra boost mid out of the crazy conditions for the time being especially with that all white outsole i mean it's not all white anymore but at least it won't get demolished that much faster when it comes to comfort expect what you expect from an ultra boost but with a snug and huggable ankle experience that is great for the winter time since it also prevents the elements from making it into your shoe the wool blend prime knit upper is soft to the touch and even softer when you wear them it's really a good experience although it does feel a tad thin for true winter conditions don't expect to wear this in the most harsh cold climates but it's really a great and practical ultra boost mid shoe but that being said congrats to you for making it to the end of the video if you took anything from it please hit that like button do you like this collaboration ultra boost mid better or do you like the kith aspen ultra boost better let me know below and let your friends know pix does the dopest on foot reviews and as always catch you later pixelated out